that basically after death, they're being transformed into a concrete structure. Uh, could be a shell, could be a uh, sea star or something that they chose of. And then basically they're placed on the actual site and with time, the actual corals start to grow on them. So they are the beginning of an additional new life underwater. But I also know how much my mom loved the water. My dad was a Coast Guard, he loved the water. And being able to go out there and do this, and it's just almost words just don't be able to explain it. So, I mean, it's just one of those things that everything works and works in mysterious ways. So, the being the ashes down there and all that basically becomes life down there and basically they're basically going to be down there living living down there in the ocean and providing life which is a great thing so this is a, a pillar that's going to be placed down there it's consisting of my mom and dad's ashes Uh, you know, the way coral grows is we have a layer of coral, it uh, absorbs limestone and it creates rock, and so it builds layer after layer. And this way we've given uh, the reef a head start. So we already have, in this case, this picket, we also have the starfish and seashell. So it already has this rock foundation for it to build from. So it becomes, it, we're creating life after life. and they will live on forever. And a lot of people say, well, what will this look like in 100 years? Will you be able to see the columns in our We hope not. We're hoping that we're gonna build a big reef and that you won't be able to see where mom and dad were. You'll just know generations from now that they are part of that reef, that they are, you know, created it. It's, it's just beautiful down there. They're gonna be just ecstatic. I guess if there was heaven, that would be it for them down there, definitely. It's kind of hard to really think of much when you have a mask on, you can't cry. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's emotional, but they're, they're happy. That's what counts. Thank you. 
Uh, and he time I had an issue, I would do my best to keep the propellers out of that one follows there. And then we're going to head on it. That's the thing when we get back to the marina. It's a very important thing. First off, I'm going to miss all of it. Off of the boat until you hear me shut the engines off. That way you know that Pat has the boat secure up against the current as we get in. We let you guys get all of your gear. There isn't that much of it. All of your personal belongings will take care of 